Hi everyone. I want to talk today about uh, machetes. Uh, well, actually, a particular type of machete, a tramontina, or a tram o tramontina, or a tramontina, made in Brazil. Uh, this particular machete, the tooth here, you can still see the, the writing on it. It's a bolo bayonet, or bolo uh, machete. Right. This particular one I bought uh, back in the early 1970s. Uh, I've been using it, uh, carried it when I was in the military. Um, I really like it, uh, but this is the one that Shadow uses because it's lighter. The one I use is a bit heavier. Uh, it's not a Tremontina. I don't know what it is. It didn't have a name or a manufacturer on it. Probably made in China or something. And uh, it's a bit thicker, as you can see. But that really doesn't matter. Uh, the only reason I use this is uh, it was too heavy for her, and I got used to it. I was using this one up until two years ago. Yeah. Anyway, this has held up extremely well. Extremely well. Um, if you're looking for a machete. I priced these. They're going around for ten or ten or twelve dollars. I think I paid three dollars or three ninety nine way back when uh, for it. But it has really done good service. With it. And it's way better than the silly little Mastercraft thing. Oh, well, those, those plastic handle things yes. you get into the Canadian you know, Tire, you pay Walmart, nine ninety five or whatever. Uh, don't even bother with them. They're they're just shit. I saw that firsthand camping. Yeah. Right. Uh, this one here is also a Tremontina. It's got a little interesting history to it. As you can see the, you know, there, and uh, you can see it's badly pitted, and badly rusted, and everything like that. What happened with this one? Uh, a guy I know comes up and he says, "Can you sharpen a uh, uh, machete for me?" He said, how much? I said, oh, five bucks, depending on how bad it is. And he showed it to me, and it was bad. I said, wow. He said, but look, I'll give you this if you sharpen this. And what it was was just a blade, no handle. The handle was rusted off it. Uh, and it was it basically, that's what it looked like. It was, a, you know, you could see the pitting in it and everything like that. Well, I said, I looked at it, and I saw that it was a Tramontina. I said, sure, I'll do it. And so I sharpened up his machete, and off he went. He was quite happy with it. And then I, uh, I uh, went and I made a handle for this before I even cleaned it up. I made a handle out of plywood. All right, got three contours to it, as you can see. All right. And I peened it. All right, and I just used a, a bit of steel rod. Then I sharpened it up. And uh, I'll be using this for a long time. This is a great machete. This is, you know, just because, like, if you see these in yard sales or stuff like that, and it doesn't matter what condition they're, they're in, once you uh, once you put an edge back on them, they'll give you a really good service. And this is a damn good machete, right? I really like Tramontina machetes. Uh, you know, uh, early 70s, that's like 35 years ago. Well, I guess it would be 1973 or 1974, right? Because I was in the Army Reserves at that time, because I was only a kid. I was only uh, about 17, 18 years old. So, um, uh, we used machetes, Tremontinas in the military. And uh, I said, I want one. And uh, so I went to the Army Circle Store and then had it there, a cheap plastic case. I made a leather case for it. Right. And, uh, now, tell them about that case that you made a left handed case. I made a left handed case. So, you know, the <laughs> you go to the left hand, to the right hand. And, uh, so but it doesn't matter because I'm ambidextrous. Yeah, so. you're ambidextrous. But I uh, use rope for 
sling it. That way you've always got uh, you always got a length of rope with you. And uh, as uh, 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 Samwise in Lord of the Rings said, you never know when you're going to use need a length of rope. But uh, you see, it's a well-made leather uh, leather scab cord, riveted and sewn, and it works quite well. Anyway, if you're looking for a machete, don't waste your time with those cheap things that they sell. Uh, you know, uh, you know, they got these. They're the Latin style ba uh, machete that they have. Look around and find yourself a Tremontina. Right? It's inexpensive and uh, it's well worth the. It's well worth the money and. Uh, and I'm sure you could probably slam it into your boot and cut your toe off. Without bending it. Without bending it. Yeah, without bending it. Right? As you can see. If you did that with the... Oh, the cheap ones? Yeah. Oh, it yeah. would take the bend easily. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. first hour using it, my friend's was bent. Was it? Yeah. And it was dull. Oh. And there was something going around camp, so we were carrying our machetes on cheap. And I was going over a log, and I just barely brushed my hand with it, and I cut my hand open. Yeah. And I just barely touched it. Well, that's my fault. Keep that but it was impressive to him. Oh, yeah. he, then he started going on about what a piece of crap his machete was. Yeah, well, it was. Yeah. Like, most people don't know. It, 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 ha it has a permit bend in it now. Well, the thing, the thing is, is that, uh, I mean, you, if you go into a department store, they have these things. They get them made in China, probably. Uh, they make them as cheaply as possible. And it's uh, like a piece of sheet metal with a handle. Yeah, and, th and they're a no-name brand, right? So, you know, the thing is, is that Tremontina has been around for a long time. Uh, and uh, it's a German company, from what I understand. And they build these things in Brazil, and they have been for many years, because Brazil is... machetes are used... Uh, a lot in Brazil. And, uh, oh, you know, the, the funny thing about a machete? Number one murder weapon in the world. Most people don't know that. Right? Oh, no, we're, we're not talking about the, you know, like cluster bombs and stuff like that. I mean, that stuff is right up there. But I mean, you know, for your personal kill stuff, number one murder weapon in the world is a machete. Well, they do go good through a throat. <laughs> yeah, they would, yeah. Well, you chopped the head off that porcupine. A couple porcupines. Yeah. They were dead, of course. Yes. Um, but, uh, that was but anyway, if you're looking for an inexpensive machine, you can't go wrong with a Tremontina. Right? And if you can find one, an older one at the yard sale or something like that, you know, for three or four or five bucks, well worth it. Well worth it. But I think I've seen them on eBay for 10 or 12 bucks. But anyway, till the next time.